Namo Buddhaya. Dear meritorious devotees and my dear children, welcome to Inner Guide program. Today, from this episode, I'm going to share with you an important quality that we all should develop within ourselves to achieve the successfulness and to achieve the goals in our life. So that special quality is known as the consistency. What do you mean by consistency? Consistency means doing something, a special work, special actions, without stopping for a long period of time. So that is what you call consistency. To achieve big goals, to achieve your dreams in your life, you need to have the special quality of consistency. If you are a student, you need to study consistently. If you are an entrepreneur, you have to take decisions and you have to try hard to develop your business consistently. If you are a person who is practicing spirituality, you need to practice that consistently. So, consistent, doing something again and again without stopping, without giving up, will make our careers into perfection. Right? It doesn't matter how talented you are, it doesn't matter how bright you are, all you need to do is to practice this consistency. So I'm going to teach you today two tips that you can develop and you can practice to bring this consistency to your work. Because if we did not practice the continuity of our work. We may do our work for some time, a short, for a short period of time, and we may give up. So consistency is the key for success. Here are the two tips that we can practice to bring the consistency to our work. Number one, you must have low expectations when you are doing your work. You have to expect very low progress in the beginning. Now, why do I say like that? Now, most of the time, now when we take meditators, the people who are meditating, sometimes they sit for the meditation expecting that their mind to be tranquilized and calm and peaceful all at once. But that will not happen, although we liked for that, or we, although we looked for that. So if we make more and high expectations, the problem is that you are expecting the results. You are expecting instant results. Now, in the life's problems, in the life's goals, you cannot expect and you can gain the results instantly. All the achievements, all the successful and good achievements in this world and in this life are slow. It should be done step by step. It takes time. It's meandering. So it is very slow. So what do you have to do? You have to expect a little progress in one session of practice, right? So now people may think that you need to have, people may say to you that you need to have big expectations and you have to do a lot, right? But by doing a lot at one time makes you tired then that is why people are giving all at once, 
right? In the first day of meditation, they meditate for about three hours and they get tired of that and they give up. So what you have to do is you have to expect very little progress. Slow progress is better than no progress, right? So you have to keep your expectations low. If you make high expectations, you will suffer because you become obsessed with the results. Sometimes the results may not come to us as we want it to be. Right? So what we have to do, we have to keep our expectations low. We have to expect a very low progress from one practice. Right? If you are studying, if you studied for one hour, don't think that you have done it for the perfection. Now you are knowledgeable. No. It will make you a small progress, but it is very small. So you have to be happy with that small progress in your life. Right? So then, when you are not making high expectations, you, don't, you, you will not become frustrated about your results because you are expecting a low result. Then, if you are doing this again and again consistently, that will increase your progress. Right? That, that will increase your results. So if you meditate for 20 minutes a day, right? if you keep on doing this daily, as a daily practice, then one day you will have the ability to gain a peaceful and calm mind. But if you practice three hours all at once, and after that if you give up, you will make no progress in that meditation. So what you have to do, you have to practice this consistency. To practice this consistency, you have to expect little progress from one session and keep on doing it, right? It's like this. Now, a tiny drop of water, when a tri tiny drop of water falls on a rock, it doesn't make any change on that rock. But what if that those tiny drops of water falls again and again and again, continuously, consistently to that rock, what will, what will be happen? With the time, it will make a huge hole in that rock. So that tiny drop of water could not make any difference, any change on that rock in the beginning. But if it was keep falling onto that rock again and again and again consistently, that will make the change. So in the beginning, right, when you're beginning your careers, right, when you're starting to meditate, when you're starting to study, in the first year, in the first month, or maybe in the first day, that will never make any change. But remember, you are on that path of progression, right? You are doing it consistently. And I'm very sure one day you can achieve the goal that you always wanted to be. So what you have to do, you have to keep your expectations very low, right? But you have to keep doing it consistently. Then one day you, have, you will have the ability or the opportunity to gain the achievements and successful achievements in your life. That is the first tip. Here's the second tip that you need to have to practice the consistency. You have to be patient. That is one of the greatest quality that we can have to our life, the patience. If you have the patience, you can wait until the problems are switched off in your life, right? 
you will not be backed down from the problems you will not fall down from the problems you can wait until they are fade away from your life right there may be dark days there may be days that you are you feel like you are giving up right there may be days that you feel tired but if you have the patience you will never give up in your careers so what you have to do you have to have the patience you have to wait right so little by little little by little if you are going to that goal if you are walking to that goal then one day right it may be not today it may be not tomorrow maybe not in next month but one day make sure one day you are going to achieve all the goals that you have in your life so if you need to practice consistency you have to have these two qualities number one that is to have the low expectations be not frustrated about the results that you are having currently if you are keeping on doing this day to as a daily basis that will make you success in the long run so what you have to do you have to make your expectations low and you have to be patient if you practice these qualities you can bring the consistency to your work then one day you will achieve all the goals that you dreamt about in your life and you can be happy one day namo buddhaya tirvasarva